So Matt, uh, third at 50 in three innings, you must be really pleased with how this season started. Yeah, definitely. It started nicely. Um, come at carrying on from Lords last week. It's good. Something that obviously I wanted to come here and try and make an impression and influence the games as much as possible. And yeah, put us into a decent position in the game. Yeah, and that was a real kind of backs to the wall innings you played today. Uh, making runs at crucial times is never going to be a, a bad habit. Uh, but facing the likes of James Anderson under lights, it couldn't get much tougher than that. Yeah, definitely. I think like last night was obviously probably one of the toughest spells you'll face under lights there with um, to get through that with Dan, unfortunately, and him early this morning. But yeah, it was nice to um, when all the hard work in the winters and stuff pays off and in innings like that. No, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and you mentioned your work this winter. It was a it was a, a busy one for you. You kind of played all over the world, albeit mostly in, in limited overs cricket. Do you feel like that's made any developments to your game, or is it just a case of coming into the season with lots of cricket under the belt? Uh, probably a bit of both. Like playing with obviously good players, getting back on a Lions trip. Obviously, that was more white ball cricket and the big bash as well. But and then I've been the period in Abu Dhabi to get back into a bit of red ball cricket and probably focus on that whilst the lads were doing a bit of white ball stuff. Um, it's definitely helped with this, doing a lot of work with Huggy, the batting coach, like, and yes, yeah, hope paying off so far and hopefully it continues. Last season, it's probably fair to say that by your high standards, you didn't score quite as many runs as you'd have liked and you were interrupted by quite a bad knee injury as well. Uh, but yesterday, Sam Cook was praising the impact you've had on the team and in the dressing room as well. You must have real kind of high hopes for the season, especially given the way you've started. Yeah, definitely. I think we've obviously got a good bunch up there and like, obviously very talented like Sam bowling the other day so I think really wanted to make an impact on the, um, this year like yeah last year showed little glimpses but hopefully can do it more consistently and keep us up there challenging for titles. And on to today's game there was a, a flurry of, of wickets at the start of the day and run scoring did not seem like it was going to be easy at all but then as the day went on yourself and Sam at the end there as well showed that run scoring is possible. Do you think the pitch is starting to play a little easier? Uh, potentially. Like, I think it's obviously a little bit slow, but I think there's probably a lot in there if you bowl it in the right area. So hopefully we can get them out for a score that we can um, chase down. Yeah, I don't think you want to be chasing too many on there in the fourth innings. That obviously is pretty much a given. But yeah, hopefully it's getting a bit easier. I think the overheads have a lot to do with it. Obviously the clouds were probably over there all day today and the lights were on in different periods for quite a long time. So. Yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll see, and hopefully there's not too many demons out there. And uh, yeah, Langs do have a, a strong batting unit, and Jennings and Bahannon played very nicely at the end of the day there. How, how do you see the balance of the game as it currently stands? Um, yeah, they played nicely, obviously very good players. Um, I think it's still fairly balanced, what are they, 70 ahead, one down, hopefully in the morning, like we've shown, once you get a wiki, you can hopefully get two or three, four in a row so yeah as I said we don't have to get too many um, they obviously played very well with like three or four wickets that session and then the rain obviously curtailed it but yeah I think it's still very much an even game at the moment and given the way wickets have fallen so far in this game you might be called into action more so in the slips than, than with ball in hand but as the summer goes on I'm sure we can expect to see lots more from you with the ball yeah hopefully uh, Obviously that's something I want to do, yeah, but April's not the greatest time for leg spinners, like, well, spinners in general, so, yeah, hopefully as the uh, summer continues, get a few overs under the belt. And finally, uh, an England Lions call-up this winter must have been a real vindication for your game and the direction it's heading in, uh, and you're clearly getting attention from, from the selectors. You must be delighted with that and excited for potential future recognition as well. Yeah, definitely. I think it's obviously a case, cliche, and not looking too far ahead, trying to put performances in as much as you can out there, but obviously any recognition you get is good, but yeah, hopefully just keep going and putting runs on the board for Essex.